Hi, this is Gustav, the developer of TubeTube. -tube. Welcome to our channel. In this video, I want to talk about how to add music and sound effects to your animations. I'm very aware that some of you want to merge sound files with your animation videos directly from TubeTube -tube Desk. That's the way it should be, and that's the way it will. And I want you to know that although this feature is not ready yet, it's currently under development. So what we can do for now to use music or sound effects within our animation project? Let's see. You can use sound files as reference while you are animating. But how? Well, you can add either MP3 or WAP files into your projects from the library panel. In the same way, you import any image by picking the option Sound File. In the case of audio resources like sound effects or music, you will have to set the start frame for every item. In that way, TubiTuf will know when to play every sound when the animation is being reproduced. As I told you before, the current implementation only allows you to listen the sounds as a reference while you are watching your animation from the player tab. The goal of this feature is to give you an idea about the concept of your visual proposal when it is accompanied by sound, allowing you to adjust the project as much as you need to, until getting the result you are looking for. Let's make a basic example. Let's start a new project with 35 frames. I'm going to make the classic bone symbol animation. But this time I'm going to start importing a sound with the effect of the ball when it hits the floor. All I have to do is to open the library panel and choose the option to import an audio file. Picking the asset I want to use. Then I set the frame where I want this file to be played. In my case I will choose the frame number 5. Now, if I press enter, I will see an empty animation with sound. All I have to do now is to create a sequence of photograms compatible with the audio effect. Some people enjoy to work like this, because the sound reference inspires them to create the animation in a better way. Of course, this is optional. Some users prefer to work in silence adding the sound effects in the end of the process. Regardless the way you want to work, something cool is that you can mute and unmute the sound layer from the player tab anytime. The shortcut to enable or disable the sound is the M key. Note, remember that when you export your animation, no sound will be included within the video file, for now. So what to do then when your animation is ready for the final edition? How to add the audio components? Well, while the future versions of TubiTube include the complete support for sound, I recommend you to use a video editor to finish your animation project. A video editor is a handy tool not only to merge video files with audio files, but to include interesting transitions between scenes filters, and other kind of visual effects that you can use to enhance the final version of your animation. Once you have finished all the composition of your project, you just have to render it to get the final video file. The good news about using a video editor is that there are a lot of them, both free and commercial. Besides, YouTube is full of tutorials about how to use them. At least for the basic features, most of the editors provide a similar interface, so to learn how to use a video editor is a relative simple task. Some of the free tools I recommend you to try are Windows Movie Maker, OpenShot, Wax, and Videolan Movie Creator. Of course, there are a lot more if you want to make your own research, that's up to you. All I want is to invite you to have your first experience using a video editor in case you haven't yet. I can assure you that this resource could be very handy for you in the future. Note, 
Before starting to play with any video editor, I recommend you to finish all the animated scenes of your project. This includes to export every scene as an MP4 file. The edition process is really easier when you have gathered all the assets for your animation previously, including the potential sound files that you want to use. The video edition is like completing a puzzle, where you have to align your animation scenes with different sound blocks to achieve the perfect synchronization between all the pieces when you play the whole project. Remember that internet is full of websites providing huge libraries of free sound effects waiting for you. Two of the sites I frequently use for my personal projects are freesound.org and soundbible.com, but of course there are more. If you are looking for free music without copyright, maybe you would like to take a look at the channel Music for Creators or music without copyright at YouTube. By the way, in case you were curious about how to edit audio files, I recommend you to try a project called Audacity. It's open source and it provides an easy to use interface. If you like to create animations, sooner or later I'm pretty sure you will want to edit your own audio files and once again, YouTube is full of tutorials about it. Now. If you have any experience using some of these tools that you want to share with us, please be my guest and leave a comment. Ok, that's all for now. I hope you like this video and please leave a comment and say hi. Let me know that you are out there. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video!